everybody, it's Sam at Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun card. And the, the main thing about this is creating a scene. So this is using just paper. So for anybody starting off and you've got maybe some nice paper packs and you're not sure what to do with them, or if you're someone like me who has a lot of paper packs, sometimes it's good to just use them to create nice cards. So this is just this small little card base and then the whole card itself is five by seven but you can make that bigger or smaller it's entirely up to you so it's using the new paper addicts papers this is the tropical bliss and i will share that with you in a moment but yeah let me show you how to make it okay so this is a really quick and easy card to make so i'm using the paper addicts tropical bliss this is the one i just absolutely adore out of the six there's new really they had six new releases um and this one is just yeah definitely my favorite but i will be showing all the other ones and i'll link up here that unboxing so you can see them if you want but i've used this one this one this one and this one oh, so yeah the sheets i'll just show you these ones that i've actually used because i've gone ahead and already fussy cut everything but you can see there and then on the other side. So you do have, they are double sided, but it doesn't matter. And then that's that one there. So I've just fussy cut those and then some of the leaves. And then that was that background one, which I've just used as one of my mats. They're really easy to cut as well, which is why I enjoy doing it. That took no time at all to cut those. So the card base, I'm going to be, I'm keeping it as a five by seven card overall, so it will fit into a normal size envelope. So I've got a piece of six by five, and along the six inch side, you want to score it three, and then just fold that in half, and that's going to be our base. Okay, so this is five inches, so I want to make sure that my height doesn't go any more than seven. I'll show you that in a minute, so that, it will, like I said, it will fit in a normal envelope. Then you want two pieces that are four and three quarters by two and three quarters. One is going to be for the back for me to write my message, and the other one is going to be on the front as my mat layer. Now, I might use that one, or do I want to? I think I am going to use that one. And then I've just stamped this one here, which says, Let's celebrate, and I've die cut that, and I've used this stamp set here which is the new Dovecraft release and this is the general stamps so you get all sorts on there but I just use the let's celebrate there which I thought was nice and yeah and then I've got this distress tool which again is a Dovecraft distress tool I've used this mostly I use it in my scrapbook layouts but um, I'm going to be using it just to distress these pieces here which is what I'll do first so this one all you do you've got one two three four five six little blades and if you just scratch it along the side of your cardstock it distresses it now I thought I'm only using it because of the jungle kind of theme I just wanted things a little bit kind of I don't know worn rustic there we go so it just gives you this really cool effect on the side so now when I sit that against there you can see and you could rip into this if you wanted to and distress it even more it's entirely up to you um, I probably won't do it with the back one because it's white you're not really going to notice it anyway okay so what I've gone and done first of all is I cut myself some grass I always like to do this in fact I'm just going to shrink that one down because that one's a bit too tall in the middle there we go so this was a piece of five by whatever height you want and I've just used the same pattern paper here and it's going to sit along the bottom like so and I've just cut into it um, just cutting down and then just shaping it just to give you this grass. I did go in kind of them kind of you know curve them over with my fingers and um, you can just dress them up if you want. If you don't have the pattern paper you can use green and then use your inks on it. But that is going to stick along the bottom with this here. So I'm just trying you know starting to kind of layer up this kind of background piece here. So I'm going to stick this one down first of all. Okay, and then I'm just going to run some glue just along the bottom because I want the rest to all be free from the card and just run that right along the bottom. So this is this card's to purely give you inspiration to grab your paper packs and yeah, create scenes with them because I think it's really, really fun. Okay, so that's the bottom of my card ready. You could put more grass in behind that, but I'm going to I think put some of the birds behind it and stuff so then I've gone and fussy cut all these pieces so I've done one of the big ones there that are on that background sheet which is this one here so it was actually this big one here so don't worry if you've got other bits going over it just concentrate on that one and just follow it around so that's that then I've done this one here I've done some small leaves medium sized leaf and then a few different sizes of the toucan. 
that's that big one so that's the whole image together I think I might just cut in those little gaps there with my um, cutting knife as well and I've got a smaller one there you see what I mean I've not even that was just on the edge of one of the papers but I thought I only need it that small so yeah do whatever you feel and then I've got another one there as well so that's what I'm planning to use and I think before I stick all that down I'm going to stick this back one down as well and I'm just going to cut these bits out of that one Okay, so that's that cut out. These, again, look, you can see the point on them. It's so sharp, but it means I can get into the tiniest piece there so easily. I think now I've taken that piece out. It just looks a bit better. Okay, so that's everything ready. And then you want to start putting it all together. So what I would say is we already know the width of our card, which is five. So I'm using my grid here. And I know that this is three inches high. So four, five, six, seven. I know here will be the top of my card. I'm just going to, I've got my nail file here because it's at hand. So that there is the top of my card. And I don't really want to go over the edges because you're just going to have to then make another envelope, a bigger one, which is fine and that's not a problem. But I do want to keep within this section here. So this is when your grids come in really handy. So this piece here was just fortunate that it literally, if I just, it's kind of going to go over a bit. I might have to make another envelope thinking about it. But look, you can see it just comes in. So that is my first one that I'm going to stick down, but I only want to stick the bottom of the tail. And I'm just tacking things in place. I'm not adding a lot of glue, but I think I'm going to have it about there. Okay, so now we've got this. And I mean, that looks lovely just as it is. So I'm going to pop that back in place again. One, two, three, four. Yep, make sure I'm in the right place. And then I'm just going to start sticking and building everything behind this one here. So this piece here is quite big. So I'm probably going to have to cut this down. I'm going to cut that end bit off there because you're not really going to see that. There we go, I've got it just in. I've just kind of nestled that in between that one. And then this one here, I think I'm going to bring in this side. And then I've got this one here which is going to come up and be behind him. So you just want to start building everything up within there. You can lay it all down first before you stick it down if you'd rather and then go for it. I kind of was playing around before I started the video so I knew where it was roughly going to go. So I'm going to carry on now and get this all stuck down. Okay, so that is everything stuck down. And then what you want to do is when you stuck it, you want to stick other things on top of it so the whole thing becomes one piece. And I think that looks really good. And then I've just got my Let's Celebrate and I'm going to just trim some of these pieces down here. Some foam adhesive, that is. And then just stick one there and one there. Well, there it is guys, a finished card. I think it looks great, really do like this. I love the distressed edges there. I put the grass, it kind of, you know, they're nestled in amongst the grasses there. So I think it looks quite cool. That's just one big piece now, so it's quite strong. So if you were to take that off, it would come off as one whole piece. One thing though, I don't know why I put this on the back because you don't need to. There is plenty of room inside. It opens just like a normal card. So I don't know why I've done that. So what I'll do is I'll cut some pattern paper to cover that and then I'll restamp that and pop it inside there. But um, yeah, I really love this. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's kind of inspired you now to go and look at your paper packs and create a scene. That's what this card's all about. It's just looking at those images in the paper packs and maybe mixing a few paper packs together as well. You know, you might have some animals in one, but you've got something in another that would work well. And yeah, you can see what you can do with it. So I'll link in those papers. I'll link in this stamp set and I'll also link in the distress tool as well. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up as always and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.